boys. Mr. Murphy, you need to come with us if you want to live. Seriously? Just kidding. What was going on in there? <sighs> you know the drill. Why do so many people around you end up dead? Well, everybody dies, eventually. But not all at once. Did you kill Margaret Leonard? Come on, Danwich. If I killed her, what'd I do with her head? Eat it? But we keep walking in on you with all these dead bodies. You must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Yeah, I might be. But you gotta start looking for another suspect. I don't care why, I just wanna know who. Wait a second, how do we even know it's Margaret Leonard? I mean, maybe that's why they took the head. Yeah, that might have worked a hundred years ago, but now we've got apps for that. We've already got a positive ID. It's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, kind of working together, uh, bouncing ideas, sharing information. I mean, what if I said I had some information that might help your investigation? I'd say you were withholding evidence. No, I said I might have something. No, you said you had something that might help. Look, Dan, what you seem like a stand-up guy, and I know you don't want any vigilantism, so I'll play it by the book. I think I have video that might have been shot by the guy who killed Margaret Leonard. I'm just gonna hand it to you and hope you'll cut me some slack. It's on your smart, Alex. Let's have it. The guy in the video is Mason Bowers. And this is the guy you think was abducted. The problem is there's no evidence of anyone being abducted, so I can't investigate. My hands are tied. Well, mine, as you see, are not. I may have seen this guy before on some kind of surveillance video. A surveillance video, you say? The video could have shown you in your apartment talking to an elderly lady. There may have been another man there as well, a mutant of some kind, who might have jumped you. The elderly lady, in theory, could have appeared to have injected you when you were restrained. In the ensuing struggle, you might have been knocked out on the fire escape. And when would Bowers have shown, hypothetically? Right after you were knocked out, tore through the apartment in pursuit of the old lady. So everything that I've told you matches up, and we're both looking for Mason Bowers. Are you familiar with a program called VCT, Vehicle Compliance Tracking? All cars come with sensors that report when one is out of compliance. For example, when you have your right front headlight shot out, if you could access the VCT database, which is illegal and highly inadvisable, you would find a list of all vehicles with the right front headlight shot out. If you could provide more information on the vehicle, you can access an ID and an address from the registration. Any chance this might have been the vehicle seen in the Maldonado surveillance video? You solve this Bowers Leonard case for me. I might even see what I could do about getting that case file for you, the one from seven years ago. I know who Zach Williams is and who his associates are. I'd advise you to keep your distance. Hmm. Don't recognize the face. Sorry. That's Margaret Leonard. I'll have to take your word for it. A speeder with a broken headlight on the front passenger side? No idea what you're talking about.
As soon as I got back from the new San Francisco Police Department, I had an urgent message from Rook. It seems Rook had a soft spot for Margaret and wanted to bring her some justice. He told me he had another interested party in the Tesla cash, a Count St. Germain, who was staying at the Golden Gate Hotel. Maybe he could divulge some answers. One hears a great deal about Tex Murphy on Chandler Avenue. To what do I owe this pleasure? Word is you're a big fan of Nikola Tesla, or at least his stuff. Yes. Your local pawn shop has a remarkably extensive offering of Tesla paraphernalia. Certainly the largest cash I've found this side of Belgrade. You mind if I ask what your interest is in Tesla? I gather you're at least somewhat familiar with the story of the Tesla cash? I believe some of the items Rook has were part of the Tesla cash, but he refuses to divulge how he obtained them. I presume from Margaret Leonard, or some third party who got them from her. Oh, shocking. Rook normally would cut off his right arm if he thought somebody would buy it. I've spent many years searching for something. My hope is to find a clue as to its whereabouts in Tesla's letters or journals. But the trail has led me here. Tell me, Mr. Murphy, do you know the name J.T. Donnelly? Yeah. I mean, I just heard about it, but he was a P.I. and he lived around here back in the 1940s. At the Ritz, in the very room in which you now live. An intriguing connection. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting and uh, maybe a little weird, but it's... it's not a connection. <laughs> but it's so much more than that. Back in Donnelly's time, there was a man known as the Sleeping Prophet, Edgar Casey. He made a compelling case for the belief that most of us have lived past lives. <sighs> You're losing me. Come now. You've said on more than one occasion that you felt as if you'd been born a century too late. A man out of time, as it were. Tell me, do you have disturbingly realistic, vivid dreams of another era? What? You know about my dreams? I must be getting incredibly broad-minded in my old age. So what are you saying? Ah, uh, I was J.T. Donnelly in a former life. We could explore that possibility, but first, have eggs ever appeared in your dreams? Oh, I, I love eggs, of course. Uh, poached, uh, over easy, scrambled. I mean, they're certainly nature's wonder food. There are affordable accommodations in better parts of the city. Something could have been drawing you specifically to the Ritz. Don't you agree? Yeah, cheap rent. Could you maybe help me out with these memories? Uh... Help me interpret these dreams. If you could find this egg, or even put me on its trail again, I have certain techniques, such as regression and channeling, that could help you recall past events. And, I should add, the egg is worth a fortune. Which I would gladly pay. We talk for a few minutes longer, but I tell him I need to get back to the case. This is way beyond my comprehension. Mystical eggs? Mind regression? Past lives? It's boggling. Margaret spoke of an egg being held by a religious fanatic who prays. Was it the Tesla egg I found in the wall at the Ritz? If so, it would have been there for over a hundred years. Does it have some sort of channeling power from the person who possessed it? Well, Mason Bowers is still the key. I need data for the VCT so I can find out who kidnapped him. I better start asking around. Time for some good old-fashioned detective work. You should talk to potential witnesses and see if they know anything about the suspicious vehicle involved with the abduction. 